Today in art class, we are going to create a painted rock that will become a fish. Um, it's based off the book Only One You that you read with your classroom teacher um, either earlier this week or last week. Um, like each of these fish, you are very unique and different. Uh, there are things about you that make you stand out from other people and that is fantastic and that's what we like. So we are going to create our own unique fish. You're going to use the color pattern that you like um, as well as the design pattern that is unique to you. So the first step to this project is placing your rock in the box below and trace around it. So there will be an assortment of rocks for you guys to choose from. They'll have all been um, primed with white paint so that it can accept any color of paint uh, well. If it were a darker rock it probably may not accept the lighter color. So they've all been primed on the top for you. Place your rock in the box below and trace around it. So I'm gonna put my rock in the box below. I'm not gonna to worry too much when I trace around it about it being perfectly. This is just kind of like a rough draft for you. So it's just sort of giving you like a practice design to work with. Then number two, it says put your name on the back of your rock with black Sharpie and move it off to the side. So while these are gonna go on display, we will be um, doing another project with the rocks next week. So we will need to know whose rock is whose for identifying it for our second week of our project. And then I'm going to put it off to the side. Then the next step it says pencil sketch a design pattern inside the shape you traced. So I'm going to really take a look at the design examples at my table. Number one, I'm going to take a look at the way that they have created the pencil sketch, the line pattern without the color. And then I'm going to also look at the color pattern. So you may want to decide first which direction you want your face to go. And that might really depend on the shape of your rock. I think this might be a nice shape for the face. So I'm going to have it go in this direction. So I'm going to create like a sort of a half circle to section off the face from the body. Then I'm going to create a circle with another circle within it for the eye. The lips are all different. You can look at the design example or you can choose your own style of lips. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a lip pattern. Um, I may want to add eyelashes. I may not. That's totally up to me. Your rock is unique. Then I'm going to create a line pattern. Um, I'm just going to create a real simple line pattern for this one. I may do a design, so maybe right here um, I do a sun. And I'm kind of looking off of this one. I really like that design. Again, these designs are ideas for you. You can use part of them. You don't have to use them. It's totally up to you. And then I'm going to create a line pattern. Again, up to you. So the next step would be to sort of color in. So you can use some colored pencils to color it in. Um, I want you guys to be able to get started, so I'm not going to, but I'm going to choose this to be yellow. Um, I have yellow paint. I'm going to have do a blue and orange um, alternating pattern because blue and orange are complementary colors, so I think they'll look really nice together. Um, now the next step is place your rock in the space below or space above right here, and Sharpie and paint your rock, matching the rough draft sketch you created. So this is my reference. If I want to change it a bit, that's totally fine too. So I'm going to put my rock right here. That way if paint goes over, it doesn't go onto my table. And I'm going to choose from a sort, an assortment of brush sizes. So if I have a really large area to paint, I may choose this brush. If I have a smaller area, I may choose this brush. This is an angled tip brush. The majority of you, though, will be choosing the smaller um, brush sizes and the fine tip. So what I'm going to do first is get a black Sharpie and I'm going to sketch my design directly onto my rock. Now it's a little bit different working on a rock. You have angles, you have hills, you have areas where the rock may be rough in spots. So you just want to go slow and not really worry about it being perfect because this is a totally new medium that we are working on. It's difficult to work with um, but a lot of fun. So I really don't want you to worry about it being perfect and having your lines and angles come out exactly like this. It's really not supposed to. Then I'm going to add my sun. See, I have like some bumps right here. Again, not going to worry about that. Um, each of the rocks is going to be unique and that's what really makes them fun. Okay, I'm adding my lines. And then I'm going to add these lines. So I have one going off of this page. I'm not painting the back of the rock or designing the back of it. The back isn't going to show. These rocks are going to be on the ground. Okay, so now I have my design. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my color pattern. There will be a ton of paint colors to choose from. Um, there will also be little ramekins of colors at your table. Only thing you need to remember is when you switch colors, you need to um, rinse your brush tips so we don't contaminate each of the colors with a different, okay? So I'm going to start with my sun. 
So with my sun, I'm going to go ahead and dip the paint. And my sun is going to be yellow. So when you paint, you really do have to go slow. Keep in mind that we have an entire class to create these rocks. So you really don't need to rush on this. It's not a lot of surface area that you need to paint. It's not a big, large piece of paper. So you really can take your time with this. Now, I might decide here that I need to switch my brushes to a fine tip brush for the other portions, the little um, points of my set. So see how I'm lifting the rock with my hands? This is really good for our fine motor skills, meaning we're really working in a small space and working on controlling the paintbrush. Remember when we talk about using a paintbrush, we hold it like a pencil. So you hold it close to the tip and the metal part never touches anything. So it shouldn't touch the rock, just the, br the bristles of the brush will be touching the rock. Okay, now I'm going to um, move on to the sun area. So um, I'll have rinsed the tip of my brush I'll have rinsed the tip so it's clean, and I'm going to go in with the um, blue and paint. You can see that when you're picking your pattern, if it's hard for you to get in detailed small spaces, you may want to keep your line pattern um, a little bit more basic, which doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to look good. So you want to focus on your craftsmanship and what you feel like you will be successful with. Create a design pattern based on that. So see how I am painting, I am staying with my pattern before I switch um, to another color. What that does is just makes it so that I don't have to rinse my brush every other time. So I'm going to do all of the blue areas, looks like I've got all of the blue areas, and then I'm going to move on to um, the orange. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and paint the orchards. You can see how a little bit of the color shows through. So naturally, the lighter colors are going to show through a little bit. Um, you can also paint the lighter colors first if you want, with the chance of it be, being dry towards the end of class and going and adding a second layer onto your color. Okay, so think about that as well when you're painting. And then I go ahead and finish the top. And when I am done with my rock, I'm not going to worry about little lines like this. See how I painted over this area. Um, next week, you're going to be given the rock back, and you'll have an opportunity to go in, and you'll be able to sharpie over and touch up those areas. Also, next week in art, we'll have an opportunity to go in over the areas that have already been painted and maybe do sort of like a little bit of a line pattern like I've done with this rock. I went in and added a little bit of accent and detail onto the top. So we'll have a chance to do that next week after our rocks have dried.